we grew up in an era where we knew what crack did to mm -hmm. our community. We knew what crack did to people. So why is it that, you know, I, I, okay, let me, let me back up. When you came to Atlanta, were you stable when you got here? Yes. Did you have a job? Well, I got on, I'm on social security. I had a stroke at so, my last job. So you had I a check, you had a check coming? Yes. Okay, so when you came here, you had a social security check. Right. Okay, and that's how you was paying your rent and everything else? Right. Okay, so how long after being here did you try crack for the first time? Uh, it might have been the first year, I think. Did you have a boyfriend or anything uh -uh. like that? And so it was just some, was this a random guy on the street or just a yes, person that you knew? Yes, I'm just someone. Well, I mean, why'd you let a random guy in the street convince you to try crack? Well, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Listen, if you want to support the channel financially, hit the super thanks button. Any amount is much appreciated. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady out here today. How you doing today, miss? I'm good. All right, all right. So, are you homeless? Yes, I am. Okay. How old are you? I'm 39 years old. Okay, 39. Mm -hmm. And so, how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless, working on a job for about 10 months. Ten, not 10 months, 10 years. You say you've been homeless about 10 years? Yes. Okay, and so, is that like 10 years off and on? Yes, it has been. Okay, so when when was the last time that you actually had a roof over your head? Well, I think I've had three apartments. Um, but four apartments. Speak up. I've had four apartments. You've had four apartments? Mm -hmm. When was the last one that you had? Um, my last one was about two, three years ago. Two, three years ago? Mm -hmm. And so, why did you lose that apartment? Well, the landlord said that I had to go. Was, it, left, be, was it because you wasn't paying? I left him a few, a few pennies. Okay. I figured that they might have told him that I needed to go because I needed to be here out on the street. Okay, do you have any kids? No, I don't. Okay, Ooh. have you ever been married? No, I haven't. Okay. All right, and so let's start from the beginning. So, where are you from? I am originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey, man, shout out Pittsburgh, definitely, all day. Uh, shout out all the Steelers fans out there, for <laughs> sure. All right, and so growing up in Pittsburgh, um, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Yes. Okay, were they married? No. Okay, but they were together? Right. All right, and so do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have three brothers and one sister. And so where are you in the birth order? I am uh, a sister and brother or younger, and I have two older brothers that are older. So you're like the middle child. Right. Okay, all right. And so growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Yes. Okay, um, did you go to high school? Yes. Did you graduate? No, I got my GD. What grade did you did you drop out of high school? 10th grade. 10th grade? Okay, and so why did you drop out in 10th grade? Because I didn't want to go to school anymore. I wanted to go, I, I wanted to be on my own, but I got my GD. They put me on half, half the day at school. <laughs> and I like it. I got my GED. And I went to a couple community colleges. I didn't graduate, but I plan on doing something for, for the kindergarten kids. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, I mean, it has there been a history of drug use? No, there hasn't. None whatsoever. None. Okay. So you've never used any drug? No. All right, so ma'am, I mean, the whole point of these interviews <laughs> is to be able to tell the truth. Well, I don't, I don't well, do, I, I don't do um, bullshit, just to let you I, know. I do smoke weed. I call drugs two different things. Okay, so but, aside from weed and alcohol, have you ever done any cocaine? Yes. Okay, in what form, crack or powder? Both. 
Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so when was the last time that you smoked crack? Uh, probably about a half an hour ago. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, and I mean, see, that's what we're looking for is transparency because, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I can tell, I can tell when someone's on high and I can almost tell on what, uh, but okay, I get it. So, it's okay. So let me ask you this. How old were you the first time that you ever smoked crack? I was 15. 15? Okay. Me and you were really close to the same age. I mean, um... You know, what made you start smoking crack at 15? No, I started smoking weed at 15. I started smoking crack about 10 years ago when I, when I came up here. Okay, so, so you came to Atlanta about 10 years ago? Right. So why did you come to Atlanta? Um, I needed something to do. I was getting old. And plus, Pittsburgh, they ain't had too much to do, so I figured I'd move to Atlanta. Atlanta's a party city. It's real live here, so... So, so I mean, what made you what made you decide to try crack though? Like, you moved because here to Atlanta. That, Tell me um, how that was well, at first. I was just chilling, and someone walked up to me. He said, "You need to try this." And then I thought, "Should I try this?" But I mean, here's and the thing. Here, here, here's the thing. We grew up in an era where we knew what crack did to mm -hmm. our community. We knew what crack did to people. So, why is it that? You know, I, I, okay, let me let me back up. When you came to Atlanta, were you stable when you got here? Yes. Did you have a job? Well, I got on, I'm on Social Security. I had a stroke at so, my last job. So you had I a check you had a check coming? Yes. Okay, so when you came here, you had a Social Security check. Right. Okay, and that's how you was paying your rent and everything else? Right. Okay, so how long after being here did you try crack for the first time? might have been the first year I think did you have a boyfriend or anything uh -uh. like that and so it was just some was this a random guy on the street or just a yes, person that you knew yes I'm just someone well I mean why'd you let a random guy on the street convince you to try crack well he didn't convince me to try it I had I had somebody in my mind and I asked him should I go ahead because I wasn't going to just go ahead and smoke it because I heard about it I, I go ahead and try this here. Okay, let's try it. It wasn't as good and, and powerful as it should be, but I tried some something with you know. Well, it was I mean, okay. it must have been powerful enough. You're still you're still hooked on it. <laughs> well, maybe it just needs to get better. Maybe the cooks out there ain't cooking it enough. You know. But so, I mean, let, let me ask you this. So, you know, I mean, you know, you're 39. Um, you've been smoking for, I guess, about a decade now. Do you have any plans on kicking the addiction? Oh, no. I'll smoke forever and ever more. Just as long as it's cool. As long as it don't put me out. I'm not sticking needles in me. Just as long as I know that it's okay. It's cool. It's, it's, a, it's a blessing to be able to do things that some people can't do. And so, I mean, do you have any plans on trying to get off the street? Yes, of course. I told you I'm on a job. Ten years. That's supposed to be eight years. I'm on, I'm on the street. I'm supposed to be watching the homeless people. The people don't have no job, but it only takes one day. But you are the homeless people. Of course. I'm with them. I am homeless. and. Do you plan on ever becoming not homeless? Oh, yes. What do you oh, plan, yes. What, what do you, what do you plan to do? Everything. Well, give me, give me one thing that you're going to do. I'm going to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. But you're still going to be on crack. So what? It'll be even better. I won't teach. Open with the kids. But I'm the most perfect kindergarten teacher you will ever see in a lifetime. Okay. So being a lady out here, and especially, you know, being addicted to crack, <laughs> um, have you ever prostituted? Um, no. Has anyone ever offered or tried to pay you for sex? No. <laughs> well, I mean, I find that pretty hard to believe. I, like I said, I've been out here a long time. Um, so you're not talking to a rookie. You go ahead and tell us the truth. Yes. And so when was the last time you prostituted? Uh, 
I wasn't a prostitute. When was the last time that you exchanged money for sex? I haven't. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, listen. So, 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 check this out. So, I mean, so at this point, you know, you really don't have any plans on stopping smoking and getting off the street. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, hey, listen, man. I, I guess it's your life. I get it. Um, but I tell you what. We really appreciate you taking the time, um, answering all of our questions. Um, if anyone out there wanted to just reach out to you, give you some kind words or anything like that, do you have a way people could do that? Do you have a social media, cash app, anything like all that? All you have to do is call my name, and I'll be here. All right. All right. All right, all right miss. Well, we are, really appreciate you. We wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Thank you. All right. You have a good one.